Hi Aries, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back. This is your reading for the week of the 12th to the 18th of October 2020. And I'm using a new deck, The Star Tarot by Kathy McKellen. McMacklund and you can see uh, the review on this deck um, that I'm using today and there's also loads of new inf uh, information if you haven't seen it how to make pumpkin soup and uh, a Halloween light from a pumpkin and the witches series is up and running again in English and it's not just about witches it's about your environment your own health how to come back into your own power and also about candles and oils and colors and tarot it's amazing and if you are following me there and you do follow me faithfully thank you very much I do appreciate that for all your likes and memberships and sharing I it's I really am moved thank you so let's get on with your reading and hopefully you will get into the Halloween energy I'm ready to for celebrations myself I can't wait for Christmas and New Year going into a new fresh year we start off uh, Aries with the two of swords you might uh, feel stuck you might be too much in your head or you can't make choices you can't see a way forward perhaps you that could be because you are isolating yourself and you don't you don't have anybody to converse with to talk about your issues or questions at hand so come out of your mind stop thinking overthinking things and go and talk to somebody get out there don't feel tied up usually it's a woman that has crossed her um, her chest um, and closed off her heart and the solar plex and closed herself off to um, the world outside her so get out there open your heart open your solar plex open your mind to new ideas because when you're open then you can receive not just keep on giving don't give too much of yourself that is also take care of yourself love yourself because this sword is blue has a blue stone and the moon and this it has a uh, green stones so it means heal 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 your heart that's the color of the heart chakra say what you have to say and mean what you say and do what you say that is the blue that's the throat chakra wow so don't just look in front of you when you open your eyes but look around you there's more going on than you might realize you've got the princess of pentacles so you will be receiving news and look where she's got her hand her hand is on her heart and near her solar plex so open it and become the star the divine has your back and is always there and you know the star the star means also to me navigation navigate your way if you open yourself up you can navigate to a positive place it looks like the four of wands really as she's standing underneath a canopy of trees so if you open yourself up then you can decide and build see proper foundations build on those foundations you might be meeting um, a Capricorn because the page or the princess um, which is the page um, is represents the Capricorn sign but don't exclude uh, Virgo or Taurus you will be receiving news and this news will mean that something is tangible and 
uh, for long term okay and it has durability it could be about a new job it could be about a new house it could be anything you know what resonates with you but open up open up to possibilities on Wednesday you've got the Queen of Cups so you could be meeting a Scorpio but don't exclude she represents Scorpio but it could also be a Pisces or a Cancer these people are highly sensitive and are usually or quite often mediums or psychics this could be a friend of yours if not it could be you that is taking a page out of the Queen of Cups book being more nurturing loving caring especially towards yourself so that you like nurturing take care that you have sound foundations with friendships or relationships or a home or work then it will take care of you okay so you could be meeting a cancer Scorpio foremost or a Pisces you might also be seeking advice from a psychic or a medium okay course you've got two twos here you've got the two of swords and the two of pentacles you might not be emotionally imbalanced you might be questioning something or want to know an outcome of something whether you're going to get this job or not and that you think that that will put you back into balance no you have to put yourself back into balance because you hold the key to decisions you're the one that decides whether you want to move home or whether you want to do this job or not or to go into this relationship partnerships because two does mean own balance but also people joining up together so you might meet a Virgo a Capricorn or a Taurus Wow somebody could be coming back from the past perhaps that is what you might want to ask a medium or a psychic to do the card reading for you and to see whether this person that's coming back from the past is really here to stay for long term and here you've got the six of cups and this is um, two children riding the back of Pegasus the unicorn so somebody could be coming back from the past but you could also be thinking <coughs> or reminiscing about the past you might remember the good memories let's say hypothetically you were married or living together with somebody and you separated in the past and now they're coming back and you are only remembering the nice thoughts but you have to remember the negative things as well as a, a person will never change you know you enhance something or you can learn extra things but the, the basis of a person's character will never change if they drank too much then the temptation will always stay there if they are not drinking now it is always a very iffy question will they be able to keep the balance if somebody else if somebody in the partnership was spending too much money and the, you, you two couldn't keep the financial balance secure then think before you take the next step and get involved again remember the saying you can learn a dog new tricks but you can never teach a dog to unlearn their tricks they shed their fur but not their tricks okay okay Aries and to clarify the six of cups you've got the ace of pentacles so somebody might be bringing you a gift somebody that is returning from the past or that you haven't seen for a while somebody might be bringing you a tangible gift this could be money but it could also be a box of chocolates or a bunch of flowers the ace of pentacles means there are new beginnings 
and you do have a lot of pentacles so you are earthed um, but there could be a lot of earth people around you this week you could also start a relationship with a pentacle like I said a Taurus a Virgo or a Capricorn so you could also be starting a new project you might have bought a new home and now you've got to balance the finances and the new home because the home might need modernization or updating okay and perhaps you're thinking about the home that you have you've lived in when you were younger and you let's say the house was blue and white and you've just bought a house and it's green and red you want to repaint it um, into blue and white well hold on there if you are in the northern hemisphere take it easy because we have COVID and we are locked up and a, a whole lot of people are redecorating their homes so to maintain to come be, be busy but there's also a lot of people losing their jobs so hold on and try to I'm not saying don't modernize your house or repaint your house but balance the finances be strategic plan take care like the Queen of Cups take care each moment needs nurturing and attention don't underestimate um, uh, the finances that will go into modernizing or refurbishing a home be sparing see whether you can be creative and make something last a little bit longer okay perhaps you are starting to be more creative because perhaps you might have more plants you might have the green touch the green fingers of the Queen of Pentacles okay so you s plant seeds nurture them make them grow and when it's blossoming then it's time to harvest reconsider before taking action there will be celebrations though as you've got the three of cups you could be celebrating with family and friends perhaps celebrating with the par person that's coming back from the past anyway this beginning could also be with an earth sign but it is something that you can touch so it could also be a business venture that you're partnering up with somebody from the past and you're opening your doors let's say to shop you're opening your doors there will be celebrations you definitely have recognition and you're moving onwards and upwards the Queen of Pentacles is Scorpio but you've got the chariot so it could also be a cancer like I said you've got victory you've got public recognition you've got recognition from family and friends you're moving onwards and upwards definitely if you've had your eye on a car then this is the time to buy the car but you can't have it all at once just remember balance the finances you can't refurbish the home and buy the car okay so make sure you are strategically and carefully busy like the Queen of Cups she's nurturing but also careful caring <coughs> she did not become the queen for nothing Aries you can't have it all at once S one step at a time you've got sweet dreams yes your dreams will uh, come true but remember Rome wasn't built in a day and here you've got the chariot you have to move on cozy up to the moment and snuggle into it set down whatever needs setting down and enter the a state of release through a snooze you may have been struggling to keep up with all that you've given yourself to do well there you are 
and nothing more can be done right now. Hand over to the Divine everything you have been mulling over. In the state of deep rest you may receive symbols from your soul that offer solutions to your quandaries. At the very least you may find that your mind is clearer and your emotions calmer upon waking like the Queen, she's got it under control. Hence you may see uh, that problems are sometimes best approached by leaving them alone altogether. Give yourself permission to enter into the pleasure, uh, pleasantness of nap time and lovely dreams. One step at a time. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> new ideas will come. Perhaps new ideas at the beginning to be more creative, to spare money, recycle. Okay. Innovate. Try something new to move forward. Try something new <coughs> so you can move forward. Yes. Um, like I'm also hearing save something for a rainy day I don't know why if you you know it's so easy to go out to the shop and uh, buy something new but trying to make something new out of something old that is also what I'm hearing this will also kill two birds with one stone a it will save you money in the long run and B you'll have something uh, for a rainy day and you'll be crafting something new perhaps a new hobby it's up to you but you've got victory great stuff so I've hoped you've enjoyed this reading Aries thank you for all your likes and shares and please uh, give me the thumbs up and uh, please share as much as possible with fam family and friends and I hope to see you in the life Stay safe, be blessed, and be creative.